Well, hello again. It's been less than an hour since the last video, but sitting out here on solo watch, need something to do, so here we are again on uh, Train Superior 09. Thought I'd take a few minutes and talk about all the gear we're using. Uh, the boat itself uh, is my dad's boat. It's a 1970-something Pearson 30. Uh, pretty decent boat. Uh, decent condition for its age. They don't age like cars. More like airplanes, if you're familiar at all with that world. Um, not a whole lot of special gear for the whole racing aspect. Um, we've got extra lifelines along the edge. Uh, the lifeline down the middle. We're using uh, carabiners, sort of a non, uh, non-standard way of tying in to the lifelines. Uh, just because it's the gear that we have and we're used to using. It actually works pretty well. Large steel carabiners. We're actually using Gibson ascending devices, uh, which are just safety catches basically. We can adjust for length. Since the biggest problem if you go overboard with a lifeline is ending up too far away and not being able to get back on board. Um, we've got a lot of doubled up stuff, redundant stuff. That's my Garmin e Trex, brand new day before the rally, rally, day before the race, um, just to keep us on track in case of an emergency. Standard instrumentation pretty much, uh, not meter, which speedometer basically. Um, also wind meter, which also has direction. Then the autopilot unit, which you can hear cranking away here. Uh, the Raymarine unit. Uh, depth gauge over there. Also have a compass hiding underneath my trusty LSPR hat. Um, got a lot of heavy weather gear, as you can see, hanging on the wheel, uh, just keeping us dry and out of the elements. Uh, as for personal gear, uh, some pretty heavy-duty rubber boots. Um, these happen to be some Baffin Industrials with steel toes and blah 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 blah. Uh, not optimal, but they work pretty well. I'm a big fan of the Baffin footwear. Little plug for them there. Um, exposure suit, as uh, you've seen some of before. Um, basically uh, a full body uh, flotation device. Along with uh, self-inflating PFDs with harnesses built in. Uh, I'm wearing mine right now, so can't really see it. Uh, but a nifty little device, very worth it. Um, got my uh, WWV wristwatch, which normally I use for TSD rallies, but um, not overly useful here since we're going so slow that time is of little essence here. Um, also, nifty little unit back here, we have our tracking box, uh, race control, the race headquarters tracks this little thing. Uh, pretty similar to the things used in Baja and Dakar. Basically, it's a GPS receiver that broadcasts on the Iridium network uh, every 15 minutes, we're told. Uh, no idea if it's working or not, since we have no internet access on the boat. Other than that, everything's pretty standard for sailboating. Um, mostly, as for stores or food stuff, we have a lot of dry, long-lasting foods. Um, a lot of water. Juice, we do have some milk on board, uh, although no idea if it'll last. Um, fruit, we have to eat that up pretty quick. But it's definitely a lifesaver compared to all the dry junk that we eat on here. Not a lot of salty, you know, processed food. Just pretty basic stuff. As you can see, weather, uh, we're back in the fog again. 
uh, pretty dismal. Uh, forecast is pretty much the same. Uh, we're traveling about four knots at the moment, and we are still about 25 miles shy of Keweenaw Peninsula, which means either the wind has to pick up or we're probably going to can the competition and go sailing instead. Or motorboating in this case. That's all for now.